Hello and welcome to my F122 driver career mode. We're here at the home of Formula 1 at Silverstone, my home Grand Prix. Off the back of Canada that wasn't very successful, we need a good result out to this weekend. So let's see what can happen. Here is the grid. So it's Perez on pole next to Carlos Sainz. Then it's Leclerc and a great qualifying for Magnussen. Then it's Gasly, Max Verstappen. We qualified 7th alongside Lando. Then it's Ocon, Alonso, Dan Tictum, George Russell, Piastri and Mick Schumacher, Albon and the Yuki Sonoda, Stroll and Schwarzman, and on the last row of the grid, it is Nicholas Latifi and Joe Guan Yu. So that's a the grid then. Let's get into the actual thing. So it's going to be a pretty easy one stop, I'll start on the mediums going on to the hards, same old same old, nothing too interesting, it's not meant to rain, which is a bit odd with British summertime, but anyway, so here we go then to the British Grand Prix, on come the five red lights, we need to limit the damage of the last couple of rounds, and we are racing here in Silverstone, and once again we haven't got the best of starts, and Dan Tickton is up our inside, and he is free. And round the outside we try and hold into Abby. We give him a little nudge and now we send the dive bomb down into turn one. We get past Lando Norris there in his McLaren next to the road. It's nice for stepping back where we started. Can we get after St. Maximus now? There's the two Ferrari side by side. Paris is away and Magnussen will twill with the step and now so both of them go side by side, into down, into Loughfield, we go very, very wide, I like to say that was intentional, but I really don't think it was, and we have lost a little bit of time there, but you can see the gap that Paris has already pulled out, go in at three cops, now we go, we need to clear that, uh, very quickly, but the heart still has one of the better cars this season, they're still there, it might not be there consistently, but here comes Dan Tickton as we drop back a little bit after the mistake of Chapel. Dan Tickton thought about getting back at us. We told him to stop being silly. It's actually Ocon. It's down to two. Ferrari's wheel to wheel. Up the side there's Leclerc on the car. Science. Perez is gone at this point. And now here we are on the back of Kevin Magnussen. Straight down the inside of Brooklyn. As the crowd roar, next up though is Max Verstappen. We try and send it late to the inside. We can't do that. Now we are going to try and take a wider line coming out to Luffield. And now up through Woodcut. And we are going to do what we did last season. He did them out for the last time. And Mercedes and a Red Bull went side by side through Cops. And his job done. You can get a Mercedes and a Red Bull side by side through cops cleanly. We overtake Max Verstappen in the most sensitive and sensational fashion at the inside. He left me space. I left him space. It was all, all good. He didn't end up in the barrier that time like he did a couple of years ago. This is a replay from our point of view. I went wider. Managed to square off the corner, get a little bit more traction. To then go down the inside of him at cops. And this has become a bit of a trademark move for us. We did it twice last season on Magnussen and Gasly. And now Max Verstappen has pitted as he started on the soft, so they haven't really gone that far. And now we're on the back of Carlos Sainz. Can we possibly give the British fans what they want and home win? It would help us in the championship and I would just love to win my own Grand Prix as well. We've got some incredible pace on these mediums. And now we are closing. We're closing on sight. We're going to do it again. Down the inside of Cops. Once again. This time on the Ferrari of Carlos Sainz. It's like it's a normal corner to us. What a flat out, side by side for a cop, sensational, and we've done it twice now, 
four times in two years. And that is Leclerc overtaking Perez. Perez is going to try and come back at him now. And now we can be a king to Abbey. Can we get past Perez there? We're absolutely flying at the minute. We send it late into finish. We go right over the top of the curb, round the loop, jog down on Perez. Now, can we hunt down after the curve? He's looking very quick. So as we come to the end of lap 12, now it's time for the pit stops and we follow the Ferrari into the pits. Can we leave it down to our pit crew? Can they get us ahead of this Ferrari in the stops? We have the nearest garage, can they do it? We timed it. Right, on goes the hard tyres. Ferrari, have they had a bad stop? They haven't for a change. When you need to rely on Ferrari to mess up, they never do. As we only just beat the heart out of Magnussen. And now this is Max Verstappen, of course he pitted way earlier on in the Grand Prix. And we have just about beat him out. And with these cold tyres trying to get him up to temperature, Max Verstappen was able to have a go at us. He tried to have a go at us and he got past. As so, not as impressive as Cops unfortunately, and we send it back down the inside of him at the Veil Chicane. He wasn't getting past me that easy, and of course his tyres are just going to fall off the cliff way sooner than I possibly can. And now, this is as we've sent it, because Perez nearly did beat us out. You can see signs in the background there. Good stop for Red Bull to get him, to get him ahead of me, but it was never going to last long. And we are up in second place now, and we have got 12 laps to hunt after Charles Leclerc. As the two Red Bulls are going wheel to wheel now, Verstappen trying to go the long way round of, of Perez at Love Field. Can he do what I've done to him and got him back? But he can't get the exit. Sides so lingering in the background, but further round the lap. He's going to try it this time, Max Verstappen, around the outside, to the main. That may have definitely been team orders in this. But Max Verstappen is through on Sergio Perez, and that early lead that was looking so confident for him is very quickly slipping away. And now we were slowly just eating into Charles Leclerc's lead, with the motivation from the crowd cheering us along. As we come down now in into snow and we can ascend it to the inside. The clouds are around the outside. And now we're just gonna wait. Maybe have a look at Vale. And he's locked up. Leclerc's locked up and we've taken the lead of the British Grand Prix. Silverstone has erupted there. A mistake by a Ferrari. Once again, it was a Mercedes hunting down a Ferrari at Silverstone. We've made him crack. And look at the gal we've pulled. We have been unbelievable here. As we come into the Veil chicane for the final time. And out of club. And we are going to be a British Grand Prix winner. Plenty of action then here in Silverstone, a memorable race and an impressive victory. Talk to me Ant, what was it that set them apart from the competition today? I think the key here was just the quality of the race crafts, you know? I mean, how many overtakes did they make overall? I'm sure we have a stat person keeping score somewhere. It was fantastic to watch, wasn't it? This is a strategic sport at the end of the day. It's always really gratifying to see post-war battles on track. It's what all the fans are after. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it.
I said after Canada when we retired that we were gonna need something special and boy was that special there carving our way through both Red Bulls both Ferraris on our way to win my home Grand Prix here at Silverstone it's the only win I care about I only ever want to win Silverstone and we have ticked it off now and that has got us back in the championship fight we'll look at that in a second George having a very poor day down in 11 Sergio Perez who got the fast slap in the end Perez so unfortunate in that race he really was looking good in the early stages and then just slipped through. Leclerc couldn't hang on to us. We had so much pace on those hard tyres. In terms of the standings then, we have moved up into P3 with that win. We are now 41 points behind. We have limited the damage. We've done what we needed to do after Baku and Canada after just getting a point out of those two races. But it's still a Red Bull 1-2 at the top of the championship. And if Leclerc's going to make this a fourth title in a row, he's really got to turn up Ferrari they have extended their lead over us we came into this race level on points but with Ferrari's strong result even with the win George's poor day has hurt us in the constructors as we go to Paul Ricard next as we race towards the summer break two more races at the Castellet and then we head to the Hungaro ring after that hopefully we can take this win into Paul Ricard and be even stronger there get ourselves back into this title charge I'll see you then hope you enjoyed